In an effort to explain the contents of the debt restructuring deal, the Ministry of Finance and National Planning has hosted the debt restructuring forum in Lusaka. The forum attracted multilateral institutions, the civil society, private sector and the media. Finance and National Planning Minister Stumbekom Sokotwani used the occasion to explain the benefits of the deal. We devote a lot of energy and time to make sure that transactions begin to take place in the economy. Whether it is transactions by, for PPP, like people building uh, railway lines, like going to Lobito, building roads, like Rusaka and Dollar Road, those are the transactions that create jobs. Those are the transactions that put money into people's pockets. Another benefit which was explained was the relief which will come with agreement with the euro bond holders. In terms of the haircut, how much have we been forgiven do we need to write off? On the official side, there is no haircut. On the bond side, 840 million has been written off. And this was basically the interest that were accruing on the principal amount, which was 3 billion. For the World Bank, economy. the debt restructuring deal gives Zambia an opportunity to invest in the most important sectors. It is therefore critical also for macroeconomic stability, for attracting investment, and for stimulating economic growth. It allows, allows the country to serve, service its debt while still having the fiscal space to serve its most important needs and to serve its citizens. Meanwhile, the International Monetary Fund has urged Zambia to continue implementing reforms and stabilize the economy. Ongoing reforms aimed at increasing domestic revenues, support responsible borrowing, will help finance development plans and social spending, while reform to enhance public governance, transparency and accountability will support efficient management of government resources. Since qualifying for a $1.3 billion IMF financial bailout in August 2023, Zambia has accessed the credit facility on three occasions. The country will soon be assessed by the IMF in terms of it reaching the benchmarks before the fourth installment can be dispersed. Poor Shalala, ZNBC News in Osaka.